It's been over 114 years since the Boy Scouts of America established themselves as an organization. And now, it's going to be taking a significant shift after all of the allegations for sexual abuse and now to be more inclusive with girls. Yes, the Boy Scouts of America will now be calling themselves Scouting America. And as someone who used to be part of the organization, I'll go ahead and give my full review of my experience of the organization. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Being a Cub Scout during the elementary school era to maybe middle school, like the whole piece of the pie where you're just a kid and you have your parents and when you're young, it was definitely fun. For me, especially. I, I used to go camping every weekend. We do so many different things, different holiday things. I had a lot of friends. It was definitely a very interesting thing to do. But once I graduated from Cub Scouts and went to Boy Scouts, it was no longer really about mom and dad like being there. It was no longer about mom and dad having fun with me. It was just about being a part of this organization. Now, this is kind of where things went downhill because the bullying came in pretty hard. Like it was very aggressive. One of the first big campsites that we went to was Camp Linochi. I think it's a little north of me. I don't exactly know where it is, but this place was a nightmare. I had kids who put scallops underneath my cot and I woke up in the middle of the night with rats and ants crawling all over my body. We even had this incident where for some reason the camp had our troop drive us off this big abandoned highway for like 20, 30 fucking minutes and uh, they dropped us off there with a guide and some canoes and then skedaddled and we were supposed to canoe our way all the way back to the campsite. And on the way, the guide started to not know where we were. The guide, I, I, I'm sure this guy probably got fired after this. But we got lost because the campsite allegedly never cut the grass. The grass that is on the creek. So the grass that's allegedly on the creek, we had to canoe through because that was the only way to get back. So there were these little pink balls. I thought they were berries at the time, like some kind of little thing. Well, it turns out they were spider aids and they were hatching. So every square inch of my body was covered in spiders. It was gnarly. And these are water moccasin infested waters. We got lost for basically a full day. And it was, it was fucking hardcore. It was the most intense experience getting lost I've ever had. And I mean, I've, I've done survival camping. That was not fun either. I did not have a good time sleeping in the woods <laughs> with nothing. That was not fun. Learning lashings and just how to tie knots and all these different things. Uh, it might not be super useful in a in a more modern society now. But when I do go camping, it is nice to kind of bust out my skills it is fun to do. Going camping as an adult now with my family and friends is different because I'm the guy that just knows what the fuck I'm doing. So it's just, it's so weird to me because it's like, no, you guys don't like, no one knows how to set it up the right way or get all this shit. Everyone wants to do all the glamping, you know, they want to get a, a trailer or fucking whatever. I'm like, get a tent, you know, there's three main fires that you can make. The TP, you know, everyone puts the stits all together like a TP. I don't really like that way. Uh, a lot of people do the log cabin, you know, where you just like stack logs on uh, or, or stits on top of each other like that and you, you get bigger and bigger as you go. I like the lean to where you get like a, a, just a fat fucking log and you, you basically set it here and then you just lean all the small stits up against it and you get your starter underneath it. Cause it's just e the easiest way to do it is just lean it up against the log. That's how I do it. We always went with this thing called the buddy system where you always at least have one of your friends with you, at least another kid with you. You know, the buddy system was, was super important, but like outside of that, like t if did do I feel like I trusted the adults in my organization? No, I, I, I don't. I really don't. I really not, not even slightly. They're like, uh, not to really ride on them or anything, but they, they were kind of shit. They were, they, were, they were kind of shit, yeah. I don't, I don't think they were good people. I don't think they were super trustworthy to be around. I, I, I think that overall the experience was definitely like good that good to have. I guess, like I was there, for, I was there for years. Like I, I, I did like almost a whole shabam. I was like almost eagle. I didn't make it eagle. I'm not gonna brag about being eagle. I, I don't care. Like it's, I not, I don't think it's amazing. It's not like oh, 
fucking god, the community service hours and shit. Like, bro brother, you didn't get that from prison. I definitely don't think that what they're doing is really going to make up for their losses. What they did, they, they put pedophiles in charge of children and that's just it's unacceptable i can't believe we live in a world where we're constantly at threat our children are constantly at threat from adults that have sexual fantasies about them that's why i don't understand when people try to like justify it to any means or capacity you're immediately putting yourself on a list that just needs to be euthanized it's it's so weird i mean like i said there's a lot that i learned like i literally learned how to take my genes if i'm like if i'm swimming in, in like the open water or ocean and i'm going to drown i literally learned to take my genes grab the pant legs tie the legs and then take the the opening where the waist is and then put it behind me and then scoop up a bunch of air like like I scoop a bunch of air up and then grab it and then tie it off there as a flotation device. And it fucking like, it works. Like it, it was like, it's so cool. Like uh, the, the, there's so many things I learned for like survival and shit. That's like actually genuinely cool. And, and I'm glad I got that experience. I really did not enjoy my time with the people, but I did enjoy what I learned. And I don't think the organization deserves any sympathy, but I think that they're going in a decent direction, being more inclusive. However, being more inclusive to girls is definitely concerning based on their prior allegations for sexual abuse. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Complete.